Ageism in the LGBT community. Are you guilty of treating somebody different just because they were older? I am. I'm guilty. Simple fact, yes it does happen. And I was guilty of it probably around my, up till my mid to late 20s. I will admit to it. I did not see myself going out with a guy that was 60, 70 years old. Or uh, even any type of relationship or even communicating it. Really, I really didn't think much of it when I did it because yes I was approached by a 60 year old and I kind of frowned upon it. A few years later I was 30 looking at a 21 year old and I got the same response. I know you say well there was a 30 year difference between you and the other guy at first and then there was only nine believe it or not it happens at all ages and it happens to everyone. Um, people get set in the groups, and that's great, I guess, but it's not because, believe it or not, everybody has feelings, everybody's human. And back in those, those days, and I will say back in those days, because I am 51 years old, when I was 27, 25, 30, I looked at it all that time and looked at myself and I found I was guilty of it a lot of times and I didn't appreciate myself for that. I did not like myself because I always said, what about when I'm that age? What about when I'm getting older? I may not like a 40 year old, but what happens when I'm 40 and I like the 30 year old? Because I do like younger, you know? Glenn, well... Look at Glenn. I mean, Glenn was not planned at all. <laughs> Far from it. But look where I ended up with. That was my boyfriend. Awesome boyfriend. I am so happy. But I would never have thought I would end up having a relationship where we are literally uh, 29 years apart. Me and Glenn get along great. And the reason we get along great is because our minds think alike. And that's what happens with a lot of the older people. Their mind is set as if they're still 25. I still feel like I'm 25. The people that are 25 or 30, they think you're old. They don't want to hear from you. They kind of push you away. Ooh, he's old. As you age in the LGBT community, you will find that, yes, you do feel like you're excluded from certain events as if you are not capable of it. I did not start going to clubs until I was 40. 40 years old, I'm going to the club. Let me tell you how many other 40 year olds were in the club. Um, maybe 10 out of uh, 300. YouTube is the prime example of how the gay community can tend to separate because most of the people that make videos on YouTube our younger generation. We are seeing more and more of the older generation getting involved with it, but it is mostly the younger generation. And so when somebody like me that's 51 years old, when I get onto YouTube originally, the first time I got on YouTube and started watching videos, that's all I saw was young. Was that, does that mean that I was a perverted old man that was watching this? No, they were entertaining me. They were, they, it was a pleasure to see that they knew so much. But in the same respect, I know my own, I know my own experiences. And that's what people need to realize is to intercommunicate with each other. And you will find that the older have already went through a lot and they do know better sometimes. And the younger are going through a lot and they know better sometimes. I'm going to end this, but make sure you watch yesterday's video with uh, Chris. He had on Alex and Josh Reamer, so check that video out and check out the other videos this past week. And I will see you all later. Bye. You can share what you know. You can tell people your experiences. And a lot of these
teens don't have the same experiences. Obviously, I don't have the same experiences as you do.